Welcome to Menu Monday. New recipes every Monday. Stuck in that cooking rut? I've been there. Come join me and try some new things. I have fun in the kitchen and I hope you enjoy the video. So let's get cooking. Good morning everybody. Welcome back to another Menu Monday. I do apologize if you hear a bunch of rain, but we are having a terrible day. A storm from Florida is coming through and it has been pounding. So I tried to wait till it was slacked off a little bit to get started. But today we are doing um, freezer meals. And I have seven of them to put together. I've already labeled the bags with the cooking instructions. All of these are for the slow cooker. Um, they can be adapted to the Instant Pot, but they definitely are better in the slow cooker. So I'm not even going into the Instant Pot um, things today. So. I'm going to get these four. These are the beef ones. I've only got four of these stands. So I'm going to do the four beef ones first. And then I have my two chickens and um, some ribs. And I'll do those second. So let me get the ingredients together and we'll get going. We're going to start by prepping all the vegetables. I have a yellow onion, red onion, and potatoes to do. And I'll put them in their respective bags. We're going to start with the beef stew. We've got our red potatoes in here. Now we're going to add uh, the equivalent of four carrots sliced. I purchased the chips, which makes it just a little bit easier. Now we're putting in our French onion soup mix. We're going to put in two cans of cream of mushroom soup. And I'll have all these ingredients at the end of each clip and also on the website rvlifeintheusa.com along with the instructions. I'm going to do eight ounces of tomato sauce. And then lastly, our package of peas, and then we'll add our stew meat. Now you wanna put these meals in the refrigerator 24 hours before you want to start cooking them so they can defrost. And this one cooks low for seven to 10 hours or high five to six. All right, 
then you just want to mix it up best you can and get all the air out and that's meal number one complete Okay, our next feed of the meal is going to be Swedish meatballs. We're going to add all the ingredients except the uh, sour cream. So first of all, a can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to do two cups of beef broth. Some onions. It called for fresh slice, but I just used a can. I like to get the big ones so Big Daddy can pick those out. A teaspoon of garlic powder, two tablespoons of A1 steak sauce, I just used the store brand, some paprika, again the measurements will be at the end of this and on the website, some salt and pepper, and then last but not least our frozen meatballs. All right, seal the bag, mix it up. Meal number two complete. Our next frozen meal is a black bean taco soup. So first of all, we're going to cook the hamburger and then I'm going to get the onion that's in the bag and add that to it. Once the beef is browned, you're going to drain off any grease and let it cool and then put it in the freezer bag. Then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. Got our taco seasoning. We've got a bag of frozen corn. The black beans that have been rinsed and drained. Two cans diced tomatoes, one can of tomato sauce, and a four ounce can of diced green chilies. And then when you're ready to cook this, you want to put it in the refrigerator to defrost for 24 hours. And you can cook it on high for one to two hours or low two to three and a half. And then dinner will be ready. You want to serve that with some tortilla chips, cheese, sour cream, guacamole, whatever you like. And here are your ingredients. OK, 
Okay, this freezing meal was actually the simplest that I did. Put in the chuck steak and then add it to cans of beef consomme. If you can't find that, you can use also, instead of the consomme, one can French onion soup, one can of beef broth, and it should taste just about the same. And then all you do is mix that up and it's ready to go. Now, we also bought some wonderful buns to go with these. And that's all there is to that dinner. And I'll have your ingredients here in just a moment. Now we're going to do some barbecued ribs. So I'm, first of all, I'm putting in here some country style pork ribs, but you can do any ribs of choice. But if you're doing like um, baby back ribs, you're going to have to cut them up to get them in the bag, obviously. All right, once we get all the meat in there, we'll start adding our other ingredients. I'm going to start with the brown sugar. And then we have some white vinegar. A little liquid smoke. Again, all the ingredients will be at the end of this clip and on the website rvlifeintheusa.com. I'm going to add in here some Old Bay. That was all I had, so that was perfect. Now it's on the shopping list. And then some ketchup. Calls for one and a half cups, so I measured out the one and then realized I had about half a cup left, so I dumped the rest without measuring it, just eyeballing there. And that's another freezer meal done. We'll get this sealed up and flattened, and your ingredients will be up shortly. Now we're moving along to our chicken freezer meals. So this is the cilantro lime chicken, and I'm starting with about four chicken breasts. And then we're going to get the cilantro cut up. I'll get that in the bag and then start adding the other ingredients. I put in some corn, that's a bag and 16 ounces. And now we're going to uh, squeeze the two limes and get some lime juice. put in here some garlic of course our red onions down there at the bottom already we did those first and put in some cumin and then some salt and pepper to taste and then I've already rinsed and drained the black beans and they go in next There's another meal done, and your ingredients coming up. I 
our next chicken freezer meal is going to be honey sesame chicken. I'm going to start again with four frozen chicken breasts and add the other ingredients. I'm doing the salt and pepper first. I'll get ourselves a cup of honey here and I always spray my measuring cup with some oil first because it helps the honey from sticking to it. Just a little tip. add our soy sauce. Our diced onions were already in the bag. A little bit of ketchup. Some vegetable oil. Two cloves of garlic. I used the garlic. And then some red pepper flakes. Now in the ingredients you've also got the cornstarch, but you don't use this until you, you're cooking it. And then also the sesame seeds you put in the day you cook it also. So there's another freezer meal done and here are your ingredients. enjoyed this week's menu Monday. It was a little different than my others, but I think it'll be very helpful for anyone that's got a busy week coming up or wants to try freezer meals. The prep time took about two and a half hours and, uh, you know, the daily get it in the crock pot took about 30, let's say one minute. <laughs> it was very hard. <laughs> Some of them I did some side dishes, some I did not, so, you know, you pick and choose, but that's an option of seven. All right, I'll be back again with another Menu Monday. You guys have a great week. Love you guys. Bye.